Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video, we're going to be doing a tutorial series on Blood Red Skies. This is a new, relatively new, less than a year old, miniature game of air combat. It's fairly easy. It's by Andy Chambers. And what we're going to do in this series, we're going to call this, instead of our normal boot camp series, we're going to call this a flight school series, where I'm going to go through tutorially one video at a time, teaching you the rules from start to finish. All right, the first video here is going to be basically just contents and what you can expect out of Blood Red Skies. Okay, in the box, in the starter box, the, the box you need to play, you do need this box. It comes with the rule book, the expanded rules, and a scenario booklet. Scenarios are easy to make. You could create your own scenarios. You and your friends could probably create an easy campaign. Uh, it's not hard to wrap your fingers around this and actually just start cranking out scenarios. Okay, let I, I put everything on the table of what you get in the box, plus a couple of extra things. You do get some cloud markers okay you get six cloud markers I put them around the edge of the table uh, something you also need before we get started you, you will need a play area uh, the scenarios are written for a three by three play area a three foot by three foot play area you can get battle mats in three by three anywhere you can get hots mats you can get cigar box you could get I mean, the list goes on. I don't need to tell you where you can get a mat. You could just get a piece of felt like I did, cut it into a 3x3. Three three. You can get some fabric. You can get some that look like clouds, light blue. You can get it to look like water or fields. Like, uh, you get some fields because when you're up it, and you can get them to be like super small scale, like 6 millimeter or something, like micro armor fields, because when you're in the air and you're looking down perspective, you would see these little bitty fields. Okay, enough of that. You also get uh, your plane models. You get six Spitfires, six 109s, and I've added one P-51. I've started painting these. They don't come this color. Uh, they come gray and brown, uh, but I'm in the process of, I'm going to go ahead and start painting them my own, my different squadron colors and things like that, camouflages. So that's just the primer on them right now. You get three bombers, okay? And these bombers are fairly large. Uh, you get three German DO-17s. And if you flip it, you get three Blenheims. Okay, so those are the bombers. You get something called the Zoom chips, they're the little wings, and the boom chips, so zoom and boom, right? And the boom chips are just points of damage, and the zoom chips really just mean your turn's over. You get a caliper that shows you your 45 degree uh, turn opportunity, but I'm going to show you an easier way than using the caliper. That's really an unnecessary piece. You get your pilot skill discs, and I'll show you how you use those. You get your plane cards. Uh, like the P-51, that's the one I added. You get a Spitfire 109, and then you get the DO-17, and on the back side, the Blenheim. The back side of these is just flavor text. You get your aircraft cards. You got your ace skill cards. You get your theater cards, doctrine cards, and your aircraft trait cards, because different aircraft have different traits, Depending on what, uh, how your nation fights, they have a certain doctrine. Depending on what theater of combat you're in, east, west, north, whatever, uh, might have a different uh, card based on that theater. And then, depending on your ace, uh, they might have different skills. So you got these. You get two quick reference charts. Uh, these can be photocopied or whatever, but you have one for each side, uh, one for each player or one for each team, uh, and they are double-sided, so they have got quite a lot of information just on these two cards, 
But really, you could probably play the game with just these. And those, and those, and those, and those. Okay. <laughs> what else do you get? You get flight stands. You get these unique flight stands. Uh, these flight stands uh, have the ability to hold the pilot skills, right? They slide on in, down inside there like that. Right? Pops right on in. And there's like a little groove for them to fit in. And so you got your pilot skill. And then you've got your tilting stand, right? It has three positions. So it's got forward, backwards, and then the center position. There's a little hole in the bottom of the uh, stand so that you could take another one of your stands and pop out the pilot skill. thought that was pretty cool. All right. We'll put this pilot skill back because we'll be needing it anyway. Okay, these pilot skills, the reason why you might have to pop them out is because they're double-sided and they have different levels of pilot skill and they're color-coded as well. Um, they're marked on the on the pilot skill disc for this for your plane. They're marked with a left and right 45 degree arc and a tail 45 degree arc. That's to help for shooting. But instead of using a caliper to figure out what 45 degrees is, you could easily just use your firing arc. You get a set of dice, which I'm going to have to say that these dice are probably some of my favorite dice because you get tick marks and hash marks instead of like the ones and the twos and the threes, right? So you get just little like slashes and then you get an ace for the six. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and you get, uh, how many did you get anyway? Ten. Okay. Um, you might need more D6 because I've seen guys roll up to 14 dice. Just letting you know. Um, you get some stickers. Now these aren't decals. These are stickers. So they're just peel them off, stick them onto the wings. Uh, if you're in a hurry or an emergency or you don't care, use these. I've gone ahead and ordered some D-Day decals for like Galan and his squadron and the uh, one of the British squadrons in the Battle of Britain. I ordered some uh, P-51 um, with invasion stripes uh, decals for that guy when I get him all painted up. But I did order the three sets of decals. And you can order those from pretty much anywhere that sells one 200 scale. These are in one 200 scale. A couple more pieces. You have your maneuver stick. This is your speed. This is like how fast you are moving. Yeah, and this thing from tip to tip is nine inches. And there are some abilities that need you to test to see if you're within nine inches. And this is a nine inch ruler. Um, also, you can use it for setting up. Like you would set that down and your guys have to set up within nine inches of your edge. So that's your speed and nine inch ruler. Mm, different colors and different sides for some reason. Okay, and then, uh, then you've got your firing range ruler. This determines if you can hit if he's within range and you can roll against him. That's your range ruler for your shooting. And you also get six high cover markers. Uh, there's certain scenarios that designate that certain planes are in high cover and they get to move last. Like when everything is said and done, they get to move. Uh, it's kind of like a they get to see how the battle progresses before they come onto the board. So that's you can mark some planes with high cover. Uh, certain scenarios allow that. Okay, did I hit everything? Got, oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. On the cloud markers, right? The cloud markers are double sided, and on the other side, you get barrage balloons. So you have uh, barrage balloon markers for certain types of missions. All right, so that's basically the table. That's the contents of the game, what you need to play. Uh, you'll also probably need an opponent, uh, but you could probably play some solitaire. That's no problem. And then uh, in the, there they have some expanded rules right now. This is Wave 2. Uh, wave 1 was the box set. Wave 2 has a box of zeros. You get six zeros and all the, the uh, cards you need to play the, the, the A6M5. They also have a P-51 box, so you can get some P-51s. Uh, they have 
uh, the Yak. I've seen the Yak uh, 1, I think it is. Uh, there's also some Aces. you got a Spitfire Ace. I don't remember the name. The uh, German Ace. Uh, an American Ace, which just happens to be pretty. And then uh, probably a Japanese Ace, I would assume. And in the near future, I think they're planning on releasing maybe a Pacific set. Because right now we've got the Battle of Britain. Um, maybe it's the European set because uh, I've seen some models and uh, they look pretty good. Okay, and that's it. That's it for uh, video one. When you come back, we'll start into the rules and we'll give you, the, we'll progress one video at a time. See you then.